Welcome back to Autodesk Maya. In this tutorial, we're going to discover what the heck is delete history and freeze transformations all about in Maya. So I have them on the shelf here, my custom shelf, delete history and freeze transformation. I'm going to show you where to find these. They're under the edit menu, delete by type, and then go to history is one of them. So there it is there, edit, delete by type, history, uh, right here, sorry. I went delete all by type, but delete by type history. It has a hotkey of uh, Alt Shift D, or it'd be Option Shift D on a Mac. Uh, but again, you can just add it to your custom shelf by hitting the uh, Control and Shift key or Command and Shift key. And then uh, Modify, we have right here, and we have Freeze Transformations. And if you open up the options of Freeze Transformations, you can freeze the Translate, the Rotate, and the Scale. You can even freeze the joint oriented, but um, typically you leave that unchecked here. Um, lock normals, you can say never, always, or non-rigid transformations. If we go to edit and reset settings, this is the default. I recommend leaving it this, unless you know what you're doing with the orientations of the joints. And um, yeah, pretty much just leave it the way it is there. Close out. So what does this allow us to do for these individual objects? So first off, uh, if you look at the sphere here, uh, there's a polysphere input, but there's no real history beyond that. You can open it up and you can adjust the settings here of the divisions, but um, that does take up a minute amount of memory. So if you delete the history, what that does is you no longer have the ability to manipulate that individual form. Okay. Same with the cube here. If we go to the inputs, uh, you'll see here all these little divisions we can change. For example, I can add some widths. But if I uh, hit the delete history, that history goes away. Well, uh, this makes, allows you to do a couple things. One, it saves a little tiny bit, minute amount in terms of memory. Sometimes the program is more efficient by doing this. And then of course, for animation, it makes it perfect. Um, you always want to delete your history for, uh, to make a clean model when you rig it for animation. So this model here, if I uh, scroll down, has a polycylinder input which was the original, and then it has an extrude face input. We actually did some extrusion here. So again, if I delete the history, that's all gonna go away. And now I don't have access to that. So um, now the poly uh, shape, I still have access to, but the, uh, the actual you know, development of it, I don't have. Now uh, the transforms are all a different. You can see here, this one has a slightly different transform, this one and this one. None of these are set to the normal transforms. So what does free transforms do? Well, it freezes it for animation. So if I wanted this to be the new origin, the new starting point for this object, and I wanted you know, it to have a rotation of this value for Z, this translate for DZ, and this translate for X, I could hit freeze transform, and they zero out and one out. If I scaled one of these objects up, so I was like, this is the new scale, not uh, 2.9, but I want it to be exactly one, uh, I could again do freeze transformation. And now if I scaled it down and I wanted to bring it back to one, I'd highlight these and type in one and it would be back to that new scale. So you can do it for that reason. Um, you can also, uh, again, if you want the, the origin to be the new origin place like this one, you know, if I put in a value of zero here, it's sitting back to the origin. But again, if I, for some reason, wanted the origin to be over here, uh, I can again do the freeze transformation and that new origin point would be there. So uh, it'll save the orientation, the translate, and the scale values basically as your new options. And typically for uh, your models, when you're dealing with animation, you want the history deleted and the transforms frozen. Now, if you are showing this as evidence for a class, like I have a 3D animation class, you don't necessarily want to delete your history because uh, that's your evidence of what you have done. So just understand that um, until you've turned in your work, keep your history, but um, afterwards you can always delete it and prepare it for animation. So until next time, see you soon in Autodesk Maya. Cheers.